Good morning and welcome to day seven of my 14 day reset. And I'm on a roll. This is actually day seven, right after day six. So I'm feeling much better. And I'm glad because all my things to do are piling up, including cleaning this kitchen. But yesterday I did do two very important things. I got the cat boxes changed, which was a necessity. And I painted my toes to match my fingernails. Also very important. Anyway, I am headed to work. I am going to take the Red Berry Crunchy O's cereal uh, to the office with half a cup of unsweetened almond milk for half a condiment. And then you'll see what I have for my second fueling. And then hopefully I will be home for lunch. On a run from my given disaster. Speed away from the holy mind. Pride. That's where I never thought it would matter. If I'm gone. for lunch and you saw what I had for my second fueling the peanut butter and chocolate chip bar and then you saw what I had for my third fueling I waffled the cheesy buttermilk mac and cheese so knowing that I have a finite number of buttermilk biscuits I am searching for a replacement and I think that waffling the cheesy buttermilk mac and cheese may just be the answer. I believe you can use those flatbreads like you would the buttermilk biscuits. Uh, on occasion, I've used them as sandwich bread when I have a little bit of extra protein, and I think that you could do the same thing. So until they replace the biscuits, my number one recommendation is to waffle the cheesy buttermilk mac and cheese. Okay, that being said, I am going to head back to work. You'll see what I have for my fourth fueling, and then I'll be home to make my lean and green. And I am just keeping it simple again. I am thawing out uh, some sirloin steak. It's kind of small, so I'm gonna weigh it out. And if it's less than five ounces cooked, then I may have a few shrimp to go with it. And then I'm just gonna have that with some riced cauliflower and green beans. I'm heading out and I'll see you when I get back.
Well, I just finished my Lean and Green and boy was that delicious. Sometimes I just like a good steak. And what I liked about that one was it was thicker than the ones I had on Friday. And so I like mine about medium rare and it was cooked perfectly. And I weighed it and it came out to 5.0 ounces. So I just got lucky with that. And it was a lean, not a leaner, because the serving size had 17 grams of fat. And then as far as my greens go, I had two greens worth of the cauliflower rice, and I used that garlic and herb cauliflower rice that I got at Aldi. It's just frozen, and I heated it up in the pan, and I just love the flavor of that so much better than plain cauliflower rice. And then I had one greens worth of green beans and I used the frozen ones from Trader Joe's and I just heated that up in my Pampered Chef steamer. So Mike is coming over. It wasn't planned, so I did not have a steak for him. Plus I was starving, so I told him I was eating before he gets here. And I made him some chicken and real rice and then the green beans and then he'll eat that when he gets here. And we'll probably sit out in the sunroom because it's about, I don't know, about 78 degrees and sunny. It's just absolutely beautiful here today. Maybe I can even talk him into going on a walk because I haven't walked in a while. I've been kind of experimenting with fuelings as desserts for Mike. And I'm thinking tonight that I am going to make the pudding. And I probably will do that real fast and stick it in the refrigerator. And then I have one condiment left. I had one at lunch, and then I had half of one at breakfast with the half cup of unsweetened almond milk. And then I put a little bit of steak seasoning on the steak, and I'm just counting that as half a condiment. So I will have some fat-free whipped topping to put on the pudding. And so I will check back for my last fueling. So we have pudding with fat-free ready whip. It's nothing special, I just made it how you're supposed to make it. No mm -hmm. feeling hacks or anything. Mm -hmm. But I've not made you this before. I got a big old spoonful here. That's good. Do you know how long it's been since I've had pudding? How long? Since I made instant pudding in high school. Oh jeez. This is really good. It's really good. It's hard to believe it's actually good for you. Mm. You know, it has... Good for you. It is. Because all the feelings have the same uh, macronutrients. So somewhere between 11 to 14 grams of protein, um, very little fat. I know it makes it not sound so good when you make it sound healthy, right? It looks, it looks kind of decadent. All I know is it's tasting good. And that's... Fine by me. So where does this rank on the uh, scale of, oh, it's number two? Yep. I like the mint chocolate one best, 
Still, mm-hmm. this is probably number two. It's pretty good. Mm-hmm. You know, I have molds and I uh, make the pudding and I put it in the, we were just talking about popsicle mold, yep. molds. Yep. Um, and then you put it in the freezer and then you have fudge sickles. Really? Yeah, and the, you get... Um, this will freeze that hard? Yeah. Really? I've made them before, and you get two fairly large fudge sickles for one serving. Hmm. I'll have to make that before summer's over. Absolutely. Very good. Well, thank you for being my taste tester. No problem. And I have no problem eating. <laughs> All right, well, like I said, we're watching the Avengers movie in the timeline order, and we are on to Thor, the Dark World, right? Okay, so we're just enjoying this nice night here and enjoying the sunroom. We're going to get back to watching the movie, and I will check back later. Try this. It's great. So Mike went home, and I am winding down for the night. It was a pretty good day. I feel almost back to normal. So I am going to watch a little Gilmore Girls and make myself some hot tea. And then I'm gonna call it a night. And I will see you in the morning. Good morning and welcome to day eight of my 14 day reset. So we're more than halfway done, except I don't intend on stopping after 14 days. I want to stay on plan right up until the time I leave for Hawaii. And I probably will not be on plan on vacation, but I'm going to still try to be mindful. With that being said, I am headed to work. I am going to bring the sweet blueberry biscuit mix to work and I'm just gonna make it in the microwave and hopefully it won't explode like the brownie did the other day. And then you'll see what I have for my second fueling and then hopefully I'll be home for lunch. I've been losing sleep, what to do? Could somebody come and take me away? I've been in the tea without you. Well, I made it home for lunch. You saw what I had for my first fueling. I prepared that sweet blueberry biscuit in the microwave and it didn't explode, so that was good. And I had that with some black coffee. And then for my second fueling, I had a peanut butter shake. And I really like the shakes because they're really quick if you're in a time crunch. And I had about seven minutes before I had to go into court. So the peanut butter shake worked out great. And then of course you saw what I had for my third fueling. I had the sour cream and chive mashed potatoes. I mixed it with a half cup of water, put it in the microwave for a minute and 45 seconds, and then I cooked it in the mini dash waffle maker for 10 minutes. And I topped that with some white cheddar laughing cow cheese for one condiment. So now I am headed back to work. You'll see what I have for my fourth fueling. 
and then I'll be home to make my lean and green. And for my lean and green, I think I am inventing my own recipe. So I'm kind of in the mood for some kind of Mexican feast. So stay tuned, I will be home after work. Well, I'm home from work and I'm ready to make my lean and green. And I'm going to make my own recipe, which I have called Mexican Fiesta Bowl. I am going to cut up a chicken breast and I'm going to sprinkle this feast mode Mexican Fiesta on it. And then I'm going to saute it in a pan on the stove. And then I'm going to measure out 4.5 ounces of cooked chicken breast. I'm going to clear that out of the pan and then into the pan I'm going to put half a cup of the diced tomatoes with green chilies. And that's one green. And then I'm going to add a cup of the rice cauliflower for two greens. And then I'll add back the cooked chicken breast after the cauliflower and tomatoes are done. And then I'm gonna sprinkle it with a quarter cup of reduced fat Mexican blend cheese. And that will make the whole lean. Now that gives me a portion of a healthy fat because 4.5 ounces of cooked chicken breast is a leaner and only a quarter cup is a lean. I'm gonna measure out an ounce of avocado to serve on top. Now I used one condiment at lunch with the white cheddar laughing cow. I'm using a condiment with my feast mode Mexican fiesta seasoning and I have one condiment left and I'm going to have a tablespoon of light sour cream on top. So let me turn the camera down and you can see exactly how I do it. From this tree I've been in I need to get in closer to you I swear you might exceed Well, I had my lean and green and it was really good. I like spicy food and that Mexican seasoning was pretty spicy. So it hit the spot. My avocado was a little bit too ripe. So that was a little bit of a disappointment, but other than that, it was great. So I have some things to do around the house now that I'm finally feeling better. I have some bathrooms to clean. I've got to finish cleaning up this kitchen and I will see you back for my last fueling. Well, it's time for my last fueling and I am going to have some smoky barbecue crunchers. 
with my hot tea. Well, I am glad I'm finally getting over these ear infections. It seems like it's been weeks since I felt good, but I'm feeling a lot better now and I hope to really start incorporating my exercise plan. I walked yesterday, as a matter of fact, I should have told you I got like 11,800 steps. So if anybody else is keeping track of your steps, why don't you list it in the comments below? Because I would love it if you guys were doing this with me. So if you like this video, please like it below and subscribe to my channel and tick that notification bell so you are alerted every time I post a new video. So I'm going to enjoy my crunchers and say good night and I will see you tomorrow.